let's look at the issue of the state election now. You've been out there. I mean, I'm really uh, interested to hear what the voters are telling you. What's the mood that you've picked up there in a very interesting seat, that of Cogra, held by the opposition leader? Well, it's a bit of a nothing election. I mean, I've had this view for a couple of weeks now, and I think this is borne out by this first door knock here, Kieran. When I say that, in 2011, Barry O'Farrell won the biggest result ever, based on election clean-up corruption. In 2015, Mike Baird took a policy to that election saying, sell the electricity poles and wires. And in 2019, Gladys Berejiklian had a contentious stadiums policy. So there was a battleground. What's the battleground here? Because the number one issue is clearly cost of living. And yet the government's doling out all of this relief in terms of vouchers and so forth. And what we heard a lot of on the streets here, Kieran, was uh, interest rates. Interest rates and inflation. But not blaming anyone. Just saying how much people are hurting because of this. So if anyone's going to cop it out here, I guess it's Phil Lowe. So it's an interesting election. We were in Blakehurst first. That's where the Liberal Party took us. Frankly, there were a lot of mansions there. There were a lot of Liberal voters there. So I asked them to move. Craig Chung, the candidate, was good enough to agree. We came to Hurstville. But we got a sense from everyone but that they're not that inspired by Dominic Perrottet. And in Chris Min's own seat of Cogra, which is marginal, by the way, there is method behind the madness of being here. It's only about 0.1%. There isn't a lot of recognition of what Chris Min's is about. And I think that's a concern for the Labor leader. This is Barry, first of all, in Blakehurst. He's talking about the fact that Dominic Perrottet is not doing enough of a, a good enough sell job. He's a Liberal supporter, but he thinks the government is not selling its wares enough in terms of this election. It just seems to be cutting through to those people who otherwise ought to be told things, but you don't seem to be doing that at all. You know, it's all very well to show that, you know, that we're doing infrastructure programs and the like, but is that enough to, to show people, you know, that this is where we're going? So they've got to really, really got to educate you. Those people out there, the voters, who so be, can be so indifferent to what's going on. And you've got to tell them, and you've got to sell it often.